Let's get right to Storm Team 4 Chief Meteorologist Dave Mazza with a look ahead at the weekend forecast. You're drying out a little bit right now. Yeah, looking a little bit better out there. We still have a little bit of light sprinkle activity across the area now, but most of the rain showers from this evening, they are getting out of here quick. You notice them off towards the east of I-77 right now, and behind it, you can see we've got some drier air starting to move back into the area, and that is good news, especially with our toy drive about 10 hours away tomorrow morning. Temperature-wise, you can see most most of the readings are back into the upper 30s to lower 40s. We are sitting at 41 right now, but it's a 41 with a pretty thick cloud deck and a lot of humidity, so kind of a damp night out there, and that means temperatures are not going to be dropping too much the rest of the night. In fact, I expect our numbers right around 40 degrees with our old friend cloud cover around to start the day on Saturday. You'll see numbers at about 42 as we start the drive, the toy drive that is at 9 a.m. We'll track the rest of the Saturday and weekend forecast and look ahead to when our next cold front will finally bring the December like chill back to our area. All right, Dave Mazza returns with the most accurate forecast talking earlier about the toy drive. We got a great setup tomorrow. Yep. Uh, not raining and not bitterly cold. Yeah, which if you're coming by, obviously uh, for folks coming tomorrow, you're going to be in your car, but you know, you don't want to have that window open when it's really cold outside or as, as little as possible. As little as possible. We're not going to have wind tomorrow. We're not going to have rain tomorrow. It looks like it's going to stay dry for the toy drive yep. and it's not going to be that cold. I mean, it's December. We've had toy drives that have been in the 60s. Oh, no doubt. It's all relative. We've had them that have been in the teens also. <laughs> yep. Tomorrow's going to be more towards that upper end back in the 40s to start off with. You notice Live Viper radar tonight as we scan the skies has been quiet for the last couple of hours as the bulk of those rain showers have moved off towards the east. There's still some light mist and drizzle out there right now, and there's a bit of a chill to the air. Taking a look outside, though, in the Winter Nation Tower camera tonight, we still got pretty good visibility, though. That cloud deck has lifted just a little bit outside this evening. Temperature wise, most of the areas in the upper 30s to low 40s. And really, we're not going to see much movement from these numbers the rest of the night. Maybe another degree or two will knock off these numbers, and that's going to be about it. So on a night where the normal low is 29, 30, we're going to stay well above that overnight tonight. And part of the reason is the clouds and the wind that's out there. So that wind does add a little bit of a bite. You notice our wind chills right now as cold as 29 currently in Delaware. Feels like 36 right now here in the city. So there's a little bit of a wind chill outside. We'll have that for the morning tomorrow as well for the early morning because as we get towards the toy drive around 9 a.m. winds are going to continue to get lighter and I think about a four to three mile an hour wind. So the range where we really don't even calculate a wind chill anymore and you'll notice our temperatures will continue to slowly climb through the day along with a good deal of cloud cover throughout the day tomorrow as well between that 9 to 3 p.m. time period. So short term we watch the rain showers exit out of our area. We're going to continue to still see a good deal of cloud cover throughout the morning into the afternoon into the evening as well. And we may pick up a few isolated showers by tomorrow night and into the overnight hours, but the general pattern through the weekend is going to be one that includes plenty of clouds, but mild temperatures for this time of the year. So tonight, our temperatures, as I mentioned, two degrees maybe at most dropping the rest of the night. Most of us upper 30s to low 40s for overnight lows. And then we are going to see our temperatures slowly rise throughout the day tomorrow for your Saturday as we'll get back up to about 45 by midday and we'll top at 49 for the afternoon high tomorrow. We'll do the same thing again on Sunday with a good deal of cloud cover. Now clouds start to thin out a little bit Sunday night, so that means temperatures will drop closer, not to normal yet, but closer to normal into the middle 30s Monday morning. We're also have a little bit cooler day on Monday. Monday at 43. Cloud cover will increase again on Tuesday with rain showers moving in late 45 for the high on Tuesday. We'll get into the upper 40s on Wednesday. That should be our rainy and breezy day out ahead of the cold front with a little bit of a bump in those temperatures. Showers should end early on Thursday as that front pushes through. 44 is going to be the hopeful number in the morning hours, but by the afternoon that colder air will start to usher in and will drop back into the 30s. And then I do expect the gray skies to resume once again next Friday and a high temperature back in the December-like range in the upper 30s.